G'day, I'm Jacob and this is Sam and we're from Science for Kids. Today we're looking at electricity and parallel circuits. Now Sam, we've got our battery here, which is going to supply the electrical energy. What I want you to do is connect this alligator clip to this long wire. Squeeze and clip. Good clip. job. Let go. This wire is now connected to the negative terminal. We're now going to connect the other wire up. So we've got two long parallel wires, Sam. One, two, three, four, five And light. five light globes. Now I'm going to show you how to connect up these light globes in parallel. So Sam, what you need to do is one alligator clips get connected to this light, to this wire. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Squeeze. And connect that wire to that light globe. Yeah. Push it in. Push. Good job. And now connect this alligator clip to this wire. Great. And now connect that up. And hopefully, yes! Yes! Alright. <laughs> now this light is connected in the circuit. And the electricity is going around what? the circuit like this. Let's add another globe ooh, in ooh. parallel. <laughs> you think you can do it, monkey? Yeah! To that. This one? Yep. Connect him on. Good job. And now we're going to two light globes, two light globes in parallel. Oh, and look, they're both as bright as they were to begin with. Do you want to add a third light globe in parallel, yeah, Sam? Do you, you, do you think you can do it? Yeah, Baba. Connect it on properly. Good electrical connection. That's it. Ooh, what one? This one. Okay. And over here. When you're making circuits, just try and keep things nice and neat, nice and ordered. You can do it. Good job. And three light globes in parallel. We're not getting something for nothing here. The battery's doing three times more work than it was doing with one globe. There's three times as much current coming out. Let's do one more globe in parallel. Good job. And connect that one up there. So Sam, how many globes do we have in parallel One, now? One, two, three, four. Four globes. Now, do you remember what happens in a series circuit when you take out a globe? What happens in a series circuit? They turn off. They all turn off. Do you think that will happen this time? If I undo one globe, will they all turn off? No. <gasps> no! <laughs> Just the globe that we took out. <laughs> all the other globes stay exactly the same. That's why parallel circuits are so good. And that's how, that's why almost everything in your house is connected par in parallel. And when you add another globe, when you turn on another appliance, it doesn't affect the other appliances. Sure, you use more electricity, but it doesn't affect the other appliances. Now the special thing about these wires is that they don't have in any insulation on them. Okay, there's no plastic on them. That's why we're able to clip straight onto them. If they were like normal wires, you wouldn't be able to clip onto them because they wouldn't conduct the electricity. It's actually quite warm here. There's a fair bit of current flowing through this wire. Is it hot? Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite warm. It's cold here. It's cold, yeah, it's cold there because no current's flowing over in that part of the wire. <laughs> I can tell you that there's about Five amps of current flowing in this part of the wire. One, two, five. Three, four, four amps in five, this part. Six, three seven, amps in this eight, part. Eight, two amps in one part. This part. One amp in this part, and no current flowing <coughs> here. Okay, you can see why they're parallel circuits, because these two lines are parallel to each other. This wire here is at the same voltage. It's at 12 volts. And this is at zero volts. So each globe. There's a potential difference of 12 volts across those light globes. And because the, there's the same potential difference across each of the globes, they all glow at the same brightness. There's parallel circuits for you. This has been Jacob and Sam from Science for Kids. We'll see you again soon. Hey, Bye. Bye.